All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 31 Limits Review. This is question 3D. We're going to sketch this piecewise function and then discuss continuity at the at the values x and uh, plus one and minus one. Now, the first thing we're going to do here is let's uh, zoom out a little bit here so you can see the the graph. Okay, the first function that we're going to plot here is y equals x plus two. Okay, which has got a y-intercept of two and a slope of one, meaning from two I'm going to go uh, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, and then down one, back one, down one, back one, down one. So give myself enough points there. Okay, now I'll connect the dots. Ooh, perfectly straight line. And, but I recognize this is only valid when x is less than or equal to negative one. So then I go to where negative one is. Okay, it's less than or equal to, so I'm going to put a little dot there and I'm going to fill that in. And then this graph carries on less than negative one, so anything to the right of negative one I will erase. And then I move to my next function here, y equals x squared. Okay, x squared is a parabola centered on the origin. Okay, and if I go one to the right, one up, one to the, uh, sorry, one to the left, one up, one to the right, one up, uh, two to the left, four up, two to the right, four up, my parabola is going to look something like this, all pretty. Okay, except that this thing is only defined between, okay, negative one, and positive one. Now that would mean I would put an open circle around the x-coordinate negative one, except that that previous function has already filled that in. So that will be a, a full circle. Over here though, at one, I'm going to put an open circle, okay, because it's not equal to it, and then it's only in between those values, so I will delete or erase all of the function that goes beyond those two points. Then I take a look at the third function there, x plus one, y equals x plus one. Okay, running out of pencil lead here. Uh, now, okay, x plus one is a line that has a y-intercept of one and a slope of one. So one up over one, one up over one, one up over one. So it's going to look like this. Now I could go backwards with this one, but I, I already know that my my domain is going to be cut off there. This is only valid where x is greater than or equal to one. Now there is a mistake up here. I got to change that. Okay, that should be greater than or equal to one. Now, that means I'm going to fill in this circle, open this, uh, sorry, put an open circle there and then fill it in because it's or equal to, and then I'll erase the part of the curve that goes to the left. Now, let's discuss continuity. Well, f of x is continuous, okay, continuous at x equals negative one, and that is because the limit as x approaches negative one from the left of f of x equals the limit as x approaches negative one from the right of f of x. Okay, they're both the same. Uh, but again, the fact that the limit exists doesn't guarantee continuity. What guarantees continuity is that the limit as x approaches negative one of f of x is equal to f of negative one. The fact that the function exists there. However, f of x is discontinuous okay, at x equals positive 1 because the limit as x approaches positive 1, oops, I wanted to put that from the right, we should do the left first, from the left of f of x does not equal the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x. And because the limit doesn't exist, uh, there's no way for this to be continuous.